uh, for our indie project here in ARE 6641. I'll be talking about community-based art. My name is Tavin Lovett. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina and work at North Garner Middle School. I'm in my first year of the UF master's program. I'm passionate about learning more about how to make art so I, I can teach technique. Right now I teach seventh grade ELA, but next year I will be teaching art. I'm also passionate about wildlife photography. The artwork I made for this project is called Everyone. I was listening to the Van Morrison Moon Dance album when I was making the artwork and that song title Everyone stuck out to me. This is acrylic paint on wood. The image is meant to represent marginalized groups gaining access to the resources they need in order to succeed within their community. Everyone deserves wings to fly. Community-based art education impacted the art world and communities everywhere. My key findings were as follows. The movement gave lower class or marginalized groups easy access to art for the first time. The movement helped America become a melting pot by recognizing different cultures. The movement helped to normalize art being viewed as a necessary subject in schools. Some relevant information. Community-based art has affected marginalized groups and evolved over the decades. It's a widely held belief backed up by data that communities can come together, have a higher percent chance of thriving. Community-based art affects how art is perceived and how forgotten communities can be lifted up. Since it was introduced to the art world and communities across the world, it's had a major impact on activism, city developers planning, how society interacts with and learns about each other, and art education. This movement gave lower class or marginalized groups easy access to the arts for the first time, helped America become a melting pot by recognizing different cultures, and helped to normalize art being viewed as a necessary subject in schools. Some artists that I might choose to incorporate into lessons about community-based art within my public school classroom might include John Ching and Peggy Diggs. Community-based art programs for teens help them to engage with their local community and therefore foster creative and aesthetic development, a social transformation. Some artists that look within to make statements about the environment around them and turn their art into activism are these two. John Ching has a goal to inspire respect for the beauty of our planet. He consistently works to bring awareness to environmental issues, such as climate change and endangered species. His artivism includes partnering with environmental organizations and fundraising and educational efforts. Peggy Diggs is a contemporary artist that has made work addressing social issues like domestic violence, race, and contemporary life. She uses a magic trick to have her larger impact on her audience, placement. She's utilized flags, billboards, milk cartons, and junk mail. She's known for collaborating with certain communities to make issue-specific works that call attention to a specific issue. Some unanswered questions and suggestions. As our culture has shifted, community-based arts has helped us adapt to it by engaging with each other, having individuals reflect on their own bias as well as their identity, giving access to emotional and functional resources to immigrants, and presenting us with spaces that allow for expression and community growth. As the nation has noticed, collected data on, and enjoyed the benefits that these programs have presented, it has only given professional curriculum planners something to reflect on and ultimately incorporate into the National Core Art Standards, thus normalizing the need for emotional engagement, flexibility, and differentiated instruction within the confinements of public school classrooms. This must continue if we, as art educators, wish to see a larger number of wider variety of students make personal connections in the classroom. See marginalized groups have more resources and have artwork as activism. Thank you.